good, you guys? It's your boy Aviation Four Eighty Four here, and I'm back with another awesome model. Just an awesome model review. Something long awaited. Um, these are models that came very late. Um, for some reason, um, Panda Fox Toys. Uh, you know, actually, I got it like a week, a week or a week and a half ago. Um, and this, these are from the April, February releases, so. Not exactly sure why they came a lot later than everybody else, um, but not a big deal, of course. As long as they come, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'm usually a very patient, patient person, so that you know, patience is key, as I like to say. So, just I'm just so hyped for this re review, guys. It's gonna be. I'm back at it with the double reviews. Last time with I did it was in late 2019 with those two Uniteds. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I I'm just excited to, to get on with this review, guys. The, the top model, actually, I'll just, you know, yeah, so this top model here, I'll just do it this way. I just wanted to do it that style because it looked cool. But, that's amazing. So, the top model here, oh, this, uh, not top model, but the left one. This is the model I pre-ordered right away when I saw it. And I just I wanted this one so badly because I flew on this plane, not the exact registration, but you know the seven three seven eight hundred with the wingwets, you know the original, uh, not the retro one, where it doesn't have the AA.com colors. You know the Gemini Jets one that was kind of like an uh, utter disappointment to majority of the people that got it. But uh, yeah, that model uh, is or. You know, I got that model mainly for the reason that I flew on this plane, but now that NG released this one, it's just amazing to have it, and it's super exciting. Uh, and then I got this one, like, right away, like, right before it shipped. And um, because I wanted to actually get the older, you know, the real, like, a really old plane. Uh, it's not that old, it's probably, like, 90s. This plane is probably from the 90s, but yeah. So... Uh, yeah, because it doesn't have the winglets and it ha doesn't have the gray belly like this one does. Not really belly, but yeah, right there. So, I'll get into details more right now or later. And I also want to like change up my style of the review a little bit. And I hope uh, you guys will probably notice because I think doing the same thing over and over again. Like showing you the cockpit windows, basic stuff. I think that can get boring. Um, at least I think. I don't, I don't exactly know, but... Uh, like the way I'm doing it, I think it might get kind of boring. So I'm gonna try to change it up. I would like to know what you guys think about it. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So let's start off with this m m model, uh, unboxing it actually, but I'll unbox both, but right now, but there we go. So I like the watercolor AA. The other box is much better than this one, but you know, uh, the model is the most important part. Uh, so yeah, the back. Just got all those warnings and legal information and stuff. So, yeah, just just the boxes are very nice. Um, NG, as usual, do an amazing job on the box. Uh, let's see how the model comes out. So, so I didn't say um, I did. Yeah. So when I flew on this aircraft, I, it was from in July of 2014. Yeah, I know a while back, but I was going to New York. Um, and then I flew from New York to Chicago on this plane as well. So that it, it means a lot when I fly an aircraft and I should, I should definitely get it. So let's move this one out of the way and then let's unbox this, this other one. So here's the box. The AA is much clearer here. Um, it's really nice, really nice box design. Uh, yeah, again, legal information here. Uh, just... Really well done, Angie. Really well done. I must say. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't say that model is amazing. Um, but yeah. So. Okay, so I'm just so excited for both of these. And just the no nostalgia of looking at these. It's like... Um, how do you say it? It's like... Go it just takes me back into the days where... In. It just want, takes me back into the days where I mean, this livery was the norm. This livery was popular, you know. Uh, before this is like pre 2013, so 
Um, so yeah, I'll get on reviewing with this model. So, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually style different, different, uh, oh, sorry, I can't talk today. Um, the, uh, okay, so this is exciting. Uh, I'm just mind blown with all the detail and the colors. So this livery came out in, was unveiled, I believe, in 1968. Um, I'm seeing many times 1967, but I actually think it's 1968. I'm seeing more 1968. But anyways, not that big of a deal. Um, this livery, so that's, it's been around for like a long time until January 17th, 2013 is when they got their current livery. So it's been eight years since that livery came out and it's crazy that um, I just remember that live that livery coming out like yesterday and I just think it's just astonishing to believe that oh there's an AA right here because when, when that livery came out I used to compare both liveries um, like crazy and I used to think about like how old this one is and then how new that one is it's just all that stuff but yeah uh, there's that winglet with the oh, it's, whoops, it's not focusing the way I wanted it to, but yeah, right there. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm actually gonna start paying attention on how I review like the landing gear dual roll really nicely. Um, then we go to the so yeah, I'll just point out some minor details, not the box. Okay, one row logo, some marking there on the nose gear door. Uh, I think that's, I, I can't really read that. It looks like some blob or something right here. Not blob, but it's like, looks some, like, I think that's some, probably part of the num uh, registration number or fleet number. Uh, if you see this triangular looking thing, that's the runway light. The very nice gray engines, a red navigation light. Um, registration November 936 Alpha November, the iconic American Airlines logo on the tail and the American flag here. Um, yeah, so, oh, and I didn't show you this side, uh, APU exhaust right here, or just APU. I, I think some people don't like it when it's called APU exhaust and my apologies. For saying that, it's just, I've been hearing that so much, so I kind of got used to saying it. Then on this side, there's the cargo doors, which are gray color. Um, and then we have the green navigation light right there. As, yeah. So I'm not exactly sure why American Airlines, you know, I know that they, this, the cargo doors here and the bottom back part of this belly here uh, the fuselage, it's silver, and then the front, the back, sorry, is like that gray color, the one that the new colors have. I'm not too sure why they did this. Uh, they did this. And the funny thing is, when I was younger, uh, or around when this livery came out, oh, the, sorry, the, not when this livery came out, but like when the current livery came out, um, I remember thinking about how old this livery looked because I thought, I used to think these were like pass patches or something and it just I thought it like gave the plane really a much older look than it should really have had so I thought it was you know just it's like that's all that stuff is yesterday was like yesterday but crazy it's been eight years aa.com yeah so I I do have photos of when I flew on this plane but I'm not gonna really show it on the camera yet because my younger face is there so yeah but yeah but um, I'm a, I, I will definitely show you guys sometime in the future, but just not really right at the moment. And also it's not like, it's actually like a, like a photo. I printed it out a long time ago. I don't think I can show you like just on the screen like that. So I'm, on, I'm gonna have to find that photo and like whenever um, I'm able to sh you know show everything, I'll show you guys that photo. But it was awesome. I was, it was just, it's just like this plane just gives a lot of memories and stuff back. So that's why I got it, and yeah, so, uh, yeah, that should be it for this part. Um, yeah, American Airlines just 
I'm the largest airline in the world. Uh, yeah, so a lot of history as well, so. All right, let's move that model out of the way. Now let's get this one into the picture. So, there we go. So of course the winglets are not there, but this plane, I would say is, you know, uh, well this plane, I would say is from the 1990s, I would say. You know, the 737-800 came out mid, late 90s, mid to late 90s, 1990s, so I would say, yeah. So this plane is gonna go in my uh, classic airport updates, while this one, I'm actually, yeah, actually I'll get into those airport update stuff, an update actually, soon. Uh, because I'm actually thinking of doing a lot of changes. Uh, so yeah, of course there's the One World logo. American Airlines is a founding member. I almost said founding father again. I don't know why I always do that. Um, but founding member, uh, 3CK or X. I think that's what that other model says, I'm not sure. But yeah, then we have the, another, again, the runway light here. You know, I would say, yeah, it's the same stuff again, but uh, red navigation light here, uh, registration, November 955 Alpha November, and the American Airlines logo again, the AA, uh, sorry, the, AA, the American flag, uh, APU, right there. And uh, yeah, that should be it. Now, of course, this is the original livery, so the you know there's no gray belly, there's no gray door doors, you know. So yeah, um, and also I did also I don't know if you guys can notice, uh, but do you see these? Uh, I'll show you in the other video as well or, or other model as well. But you can see these cockpit windows up here. They are, uh, there's no patches on the cockpit windows, so this is like uh, when the, co the, the top windows were needed at the time. And then on here, on the regular livery, you can see the cockpit windows are in a gray color. Or sorry, the patches are in the gray color. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, so I believe they di did patch that up with the, the current colors and stuff, which is Really cool to see, um, yeah. Just NG doing, the, both these models are absolutely fantastic. And um, NG, they did an amazing job. I'll just show you the bottom part now, kind of. Well, yeah, you see there's uh, silver, silver, flap slots, aileron spoilers all over here. Um, the nice engine markings, very detailed, the line, red line. the main gear sockets, no nose gear, uh, the grayish color nose cone, really nice. Both of the aircraft have it. Uh, no step markings, emergency exit markings, the top of the flaps and all, all those slats. Uh, lots of detail and it's just amazing. Um, stabilizers, really, really excellent. Um, and yes, the landing gear do roll really nicely as well for this model. Uh, oops. So, I'm not, I don't really care about the rolling landing gear, honestly, because it's like, you know, I don't play, I don't play with these. These are models. They're way too delicate to play with, you know, so, uh, you should, I would not recommend that if you're going to buy some, something like this, but, um, uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, just awesome models and just brings back lots of nostalgia and memories or whatnot. So. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, actually, hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, my bad. I'm gonna do this. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you're new. Let me know what you guys thought of this style of video. Like, you know, I guess, yeah. Just, it, I don't know how different it seemed to you guys, but I would like to know what you guys think of this video, uh, like this style. Uh, put in the comments below which model you got if you got both which or you got the old one new one Which would what do you uh, which would which one did you get or would you like to get? I believe they're still both in stock by the time I upload this so guys get get them if you can um, 
But yeah, that should be it for this video, guys. There's nothing else I should say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. I already said that. So, never mind. Just thanks for watching, guys, and take care.